Hello and welcome back everyone to this live stream on anubavtrainings.com. In our live episode today, we are trying to find out a very simple and a basic answer of difference between database, data warehouse and data lake. Many of you working as a HANA consultant, SAP Datasphere consultant or SAP BW consultant would like to quickly know the difference between database, data warehouse and data lake. We'll do this whiteboard presentation live on YouTube to understand this difference so that next time when you come across these terminologies, you'll be easily able to digest and use them in your practical projects. What is the difference between database, data warehouse, and data lake? Quickly, let's understand. These are basic interview questions which somebody might ask you. So, what is database? So, suppose I meet a my friend Rohan. Rohan is a car manufacturer. He has a manufacturing company for car. Now, to build a car, Rohan need different raw material. He need tire. He need engine. He need car body. He need wheels, steering wheels. He need uh, yeah. Let's say these components. So these components are coming from different vendors. So to be able to design a software application which can maintain all the parts of the car and assembling process, Rohan would need to store the data about the cars, models, and raw material. So for that, Rohan would need something called a database. So database is basically simply a collection of tables. To store data for transaction purposes. Yes, so he will have a table where he will have raw material. He will have another table where he will have cars. Models he is producing, he will have manufacturers. He will have a table where he will store customers. And he will have a table where he stores inventories. So all this information he will store in a database. Now this is one business Rohan has. But Rohan also have a life insurance business. He also have a banking business. He also have an investment firm. Take example of Tata in India. So Tata have multiple businesses. Tata Consultancy Services, which is a software business. Tata Motors, which is a manufacturing of cars. Tata Tea, which is manufacturing just the tea and coffees. Then we have Tata Alexi, Tata Insurance, Tata General Insurance, TGI, right? That's an insurance company. Tata also have uh, acquired this airline called Air, Air India, right? So they have Air India and Vistara, that's an airline company. So some companies are so big, they have multiple businesses. Now each business produce some data. They have data. So they, this is data in database two, this is data in database three, this is data in database four. Now Tata wants to know which of his subsidiary or Rowan wants to know which of his subsidiary is giving him maximum wealth generating business. So what it does? He would need now a data warehouse. In SAP term, we call it as business warehouse. SAP term, if you talk about business warehouse or known as BW. So a business warehouse will then allow Rohan to basically bring massive, massive data from different, different systems to store here. Yes. So Maybe you don't want to store massive amount of past historical data in your database. You don't want to store that in your database. So what do you do? You will bring data from different sources. Yeah, different ERP systems, different transactional systems store them in BW system. So this is basically for historical data and performing data analytics called OLAP. Online analytic processing. 
So our main goal of BW system is to store historic data or massive data or data from multiple systems. Yes. So you will get that in your BW system. Billions upon billions upon trillions upon trillions upon records is stored. It is read optimized. And on top of it, we build the graphs, charts, yes, different analytics we do on top of it. That is what traditionally BW system is. Then we have data lake. So we are living in a very dynamic world. So mostly in database and data warehouse, the data is stored in a structured format. Which is a two dimensional table or structure, right? But a data lake is actually an advancement of data store where you can store both st structured and non structured, which is, means semi structured data. It is also used to store massive data, but semi structure. Some data will be in form of a structure, which is table. Some will be, let's say, a audio file. Some will be video file some will be images some will be json some will be xml different 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 file format just think about a garbage dump yard in your comp in your city where you just go and dump something you just keep something you don't know what whether it is useful or not but you want to store and keep it somewhere so that's a dump yard where you dump your data why do you need dump yard because maybe in the future you may ask some important business question to this dump yard. Yes, like maybe in the future you want to apply some machine learning, some data intelligence. Yes, you can use data lakes. You can use data lakes. So SAP Data Sphere can connect to basically data lake also. So SAP Data Sphere comes under this data warehouse solution. It's like a data warehouse solution in the cloud. So if you want a data warehouse in the cloud, that is your data sphere. But this data sphere can connect to data lake also. It can connect. It is itself not a data lake. It's actually a BW system running in the cloud. But it can connect to a data lake. So you can connect and fetch the data from data lake. Yes. Maybe in the upcoming episodes, I will show you how to connect to data lake from data sphere. Makes sense. So now you understand that the difference between database data warehouse and data lake and what exactly data sphere is all about in general so now let's go ahead and do a setup of a database of hana cloud so we want to create a database now our own personal database where we store transactional data of a company all right so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of sap data sphere as usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on SAP Data Sphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubautrainings.com. Also, shoot us an email on contact at anubautrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, I will signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.